Hello guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. What I'm going to make for you guys today is something that I've never made before uh, because it's going to be with my new roasted mock garlic. So, but I have made these before and I'm going to be making my alkaline uh, buns. So, what you guys will need is um, one and a half cups of spelt flour. And it's got to be sifted, guys. And that's what I'm doing, showing you guys. It's got to be sifted. If you don't sift it, it's not as good. Okay. So make sure that you sift it, please. And if you don't have a sifter like I have, I've showed this to you guys before. You can just take a, one of these. And just put it in and sift it out that way through by tapping it down and that will sift your flour and most people have those and you guys can get those at the dollar store they're really cheap inexpensive and you get one for a dollar okay so that's one and a half cups of sifted spelt flour then I'm just gonna put in two shakes of sea salt and this is just extra fine okay I don't like a lot of salt so you guys can add more if you want that's up to you but me I'm just doing two little quick shakes and then next okay, so we got that so next I'm gonna add in some of my this is my regular garlic which you guys won't have this because I'm the only one that has this. So if you want to uh, talk to me on my socials, talk to me here or on my Instagram about ordering this, you guys, uh, you can DM me or leave a comment here and I can tell you how to get some. Then I've got my mock roasted garlic. So I'm gonna put in, I'd say, probably a quarter of a teaspoon on both so that, so we got salt the my mock regular garlic and then my mock roasted garlic and you guys aren't going to have that so you'll just have to skip that you can just put the salt and if you want to put some I don't know you can put some oregano or some basil if you want that would be fine and so next I'm going to put in you guys um, which I don't know if you guys will have this or not but I'm going to put in a teaspoon of my sea moss gel this is a great way to incorporate your sea moss guys hide the taste get your minerals in um, by doing that so there's that and then next I'm gonna put in my oil so I've got right here a third a third cup of oil and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of whisk this you guys while I'm putting in the oil so third cup So that's third cup of oil, you guys. Again, like I said, this is my first time ever making this. I got my oven preheated. So next, I'm going to take my agave, and I'm just going to put in two squirts, you guys. So you just got to mix that in and it's going to get kind of clumpy, which is fine. As you can see, it's not penetrating all of the flour. So I'm just trying to 
get that in. And then I forgot to grab my pier. So I've got to stop this. Okay guys, sorry about that. I completely forgot the Pierre water. So this is what you guys want it to look like. This is exactly how you want it to look. Kind of crumbly like that. And then I, I forgot. Also you guys take a key lime and cut up and squeeze in a key lime. Because I think with the garlic that's going to be really good. So I've got a key lime in there as well. Okay, so again I'm just mixing. That has the sea moss in there, which is great for you guys. And hey, if you want to add more, you guys are more than welcome to do so. Add that sea moss. Now see... If you look, I got all, pretty much almost all the flour damp or moist. That's what you guys want, okay? So then next, what we're going to do is we're going to take one cup of Pierre water, you guys. And you're just going to start putting it in. You're going to want to kind of fold. I'm going to put in about a half a cup. Yep, boom, like that. Start off with a half a cup. Okay, so half a cup is what it is, you guys. Good thing I didn't put more in because a half a cup is plenty. I'm going to actually have to add in a little bit more. Spelt flour. So this process is done. So you got your dough. Okay. And you want to just kind of let that sit in there. That's exactly what you guys want. Okay. And just let that chill. Just let that chill, you guys. Then we're going to get the sifter. And I'm going to get some more spelt flour. And this is just to get the dough coated, you guys, okay? So you're just going to put some in and just sift it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. I would say that was probably a quarter of a cup. If that. And so there you got your dough just lightly covered, okay? So then you're just going to kind of knead that. In, if the dough is sticking to your hands, you guys, then you're going to need more. Okay, I'm getting it moved around here and you can see the consistency of it. Just pick up all that loose flour because you want to make sure, see how there's like no, hardly no dough sticking to my hand. So what I mean by that, you guys, there should be zero. Okay, so we're gonna do it another, probably fourth a cup. When I say nothing sticking to your hand, that's exactly what I mean. There should be nothing sticking on your hand. Oh yeah, and guys, this is going to yield uh, two of my buns. Okay? Forgot to say that in the beginning of the video. So if you need... Uh, four buns made for a family of four, then you're obviously going to have to double this recipe, okay? So, the one and a half to start, because you still need more flour in, in this process, but one and a half start.
starting this recipe is only going to yield you two buns, okay? So as you can see, I'm just working the dough and it's moving along nicely and I'm still getting a little, little bit stuck on my hands, but that's because I'm kneading it, you guys. You have to knead it a little bit. And so we can sift a little bit more flour. You just keep sifting, you guys, until there's probably going to be another quarter of a cup. So that would be, in a total, probably about three quarters of a cup to make two buns. Because this is, as this is separate. This is just making sure that nothing is sticking. You want to make sure it's nice and coated, and that but yeah, it's. See now it's starting to just be the dry ingredients on my hand. It's nothing moist or wet or sticky from the actual. Dough. You do not want any of the dough sticking on your hand. And I'm using my knuckles and nothing is sticking, you guys. That's what I mean. Okay, so I'd say that's pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let that sit for a good... 15 minutes okay so you guys just kind of knead and do this and work on it and then just let it sit for 15 minutes and I'll be back all right guys so after you let your buns sit for a good 15 minutes or, or longer the longer they sit the better that's fine this is what you want your buns to look like you want to mold them into like a hamburger style bun and also, what I did when I shut this off is um, I added some of my parm to this, my parmesan. And you guys aren't going to have this anyways, so I had a little bit left, and instead of just, I didn't know what to use it with, so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and just use it in this just so I can get like a garlicky parm type bun. Thought that would be pretty good. So it doesn't matter, guys, because you, you guys don't have my parmesan, so... It wouldn't matter in this video. So here's my little bun. And I'm going to take some roasted sesame seeds. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some on the top and then flatten them. So they're going to stick in to the bun when they bake. They're not going to fall off. See, they're not falling off, you guys. See? Okay. And then I'm just going to stick it on my uh, parchment paper on my thing and some of the seeds that fell. So I've got this one already formed in a bun. Some seeds fell from the first one. So that's all right. No big deal, guys. I'm just going to dump some on the top. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pat it so they will stick. And a lot of them fell off. And I'm just going to kind of pick them up. And this one, they're spread out a little bit more. And that's all right. It's all going to go down the same. But this make them good you guys so see this one's spread out a little bit more but that's all right and I'm just going to kind of fluff up my bun a little bit and pick up some more on uh, there we go so you guys can see all right now I'm going to put these on my tray and the oven is preheated you guys to 350 and I'm just going to set my timer for like because it's already heated up I'm going to just set it for 
15 minutes because it's already fired up and let that go and so I want to show you guys I already actually made some buns I had some in the oven when I started the video these ones though um, do not have my Parmesan and they do not have the seeds these are just going to be garlic and then some spring onion that I topped into that. Let me turn on the light in here so maybe you guys can see a little bit better. So there it is. And look at the nice rise in that, guys. It's got a nice, it turned out really nice. So the only difference between what I just put in the oven is, is these do not have my Parmesan and they do not have the toasted sesame. They just have spring onion on the top and these have my garlic. My, uh, I did put some of my uh, roasted garlic on the top with the spring onion. You can kind of see it on top of there. So there you guys have it. And I'll bring the other ones out when they're done and uh, let you guys know how long I cooked them for and show you the end product on those as well. But I just gave you guys two really good recipes. And if you guys want to try my parm and or my garlic or my roasted garlic, all mock, of course, alkaline, please reach out to me on my Instagram or in my comment section here and I'll work on getting you guys some, okay? I'll be back. All right, guys. So here it is, and that's what it came out like. And some of the seeds came off, but that's all right. I needed to press them down more when the dough was wet, and I didn't do that on this one. So anyway, this is... And it's soft, so you can see I'm pressing down and look at it bounce right back up, you guys. Literally. It's bouncing right back up, so it's holding really nice. It's nice and soft, and it goes right back up. It bounces right back up. So there was no yeast. It's a pretty nice thick bun. So... 350 and my oven was already hot because I had made the first batch and this was in for 20 minutes and that's good enough now if you want it cooked a little bit more you could do 25 um, and it won't be as soft this is nice and soft and I've let it cool I mean I'm touching it and it's nice and cool to the touch so now I'm going to cut it for you guys So you can see the inside and you're literally seeing I'm sure this the heat come right out of that so that's the inside you guys and you can I'm sure you're literally seeing the steam come up off of it so you just let that cool after you cut it and then you put whatever you want just, oh my gosh you guys it's just so nice and soft like some warm bread that you'd get at um, Olive Garden or something I mean it's just nice and soft buttery type textured soft but this you guys has my my special ingredients in it so if you guys want any of those parms or the mock garlic or roasted garlic you guys will need to reach out to me to get those ingredients because I promise you even if you try to make it you won't get what I have so reach out to me and you can get those and um, you can make this recipe just like this if you're not then just skip those things and make it without all right guys I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope you have an alkaline day thanks for tuning in bye